everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've had a lot of requests asking how to start a vertical clove hitch knot, how to add color in, and how to finish it. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you just that. Okay, so this is how I start. I get my rope and just put it under like that. Just make it like a little loop. And then this is like a, or actually a quicker way to do this. You just loop this around like that and then you pull these ropes through. And then you tighten it, pull it to the top. So that's how I start. And then to keep going, you can go like this and like pull the rope through, but usually you have like a way longer rope than these ones hanging. So I'm gonna show you a little trick to do it faster. So that's how I showed you in my first video, just quickly. Um, and this is how I'm gonna show you right here. It's just way faster. But you just get this rope and you loop it like that and you pull these bottom pieces through. Then you tighten it, loop it around like that again, and then pull these bottom pieces through and tighten it. See, it's really simple. So I just finished one row, and now I'm gonna start going back this way. So I'm gonna get this rope and loop it around this way, like that, pull these ropes through and then tighten it. You always do it twice. Turn it around like that. Pull those through and then tighten it again. And then you just keep repeating that. Okay, now I'm gonna actually show you how to add some color in. Okay, so here's my rope. It's different than this, but I'm just gonna add this color in but you get this and you turn it around, just like loop it around. You see how I did that? Put it under, just loop it around like that. And this one pulls, goes around this side and pulls through. And you just tighten it, pull it to the top. And then those ropes behind um, just get tied in. And then you can keep doing this the same way. You just loop it like that, pull these ropes through. Always make sure you're going behind these cords though. And then to turn around, you just pull it through the back, loop it over like that, put this thing on top, this thing, this string, this rope, and then pull it through, tighten it. Always do it twice, loop it over, pull these ropes through, and tighten it and then put it behind these ropes again turn it around I hope I'm making sense right now now I'm going to show you again how to add another piece of rope in because now that those two rows are done you kind of don't want to use this string that's hanging or if not it'll like make it long right there unless you have a design in mind that you just want to take it down and do whatever you want with it, but I'm going to add in another rope, put it under, does that make sense how I added it? I hope it does. And then you put it behind and you keep just turning it. When you have a little bit of rope, when I do this um, piece, I usually have a really long rope because I'm making a ton of these knots. So this rope right here is usually really long, so that's why I do this loop trick to make it way faster but when your rope gets short this one's getting pretty short now you can always just do um, you can do it the original way that I showed you I'll show you that here after I'm done with this one okay you can just put it behind and then just pull it through like that but it does take a lot longer if you have a really long rope so I just twist it around and it goes by way faster because it's not is definitely time consuming wow this actually looks kind of pretty <laughs> okay so you can have a lot of loose strings like this in the back you can like just tie them together or like in, after you tie them together just like cut them off and then you have your piece 
Oh, that's actually super cute. I'm gonna actually make a design like this with some color and put it in my shop. I love that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you were able to learn how to do this vertical clove hitch knot from this video. I would love to see any designs that you make. Tag me in your posts on Instagram. If there's a certain knot that you want to learn or some type of design or pattern, feel free to send me a DM and I'll definitely get back with you and put a video together. And make sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any upcoming videos.